Ah. Welcome to this special tour of mine. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this here is my art portfolio from high school. High school art class. Uh, so, all of this is from, like... So all of this is from, I believe, Art 2 to all the way from ind Independent Study Art class. So that's like my sophomore year through senior year. Um, I took art class like five times because I love art class and I love my art teacher. He was, he was, he was a very beloved teacher. So yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first one here is a drawing of a penguin. So, uh, I think my teacher said draw, just draw any animal, and, um, so I drew penguins because penguins are my favorite animal. So, yeah, uh, I did this with paint, acrylic paints, and soft pastels. Um, I don't know, as you can see, my, it's still still chalky so yeah I just drew a penguin in the Arctic and and yeah I, I really love this piece okay so this is some anime boy playing a piano um yeah so my teacher just says draw a person playing an instrument so this actually got it off from Google images because uh, I don't uh, I, I don't know, I was just trying to look for a reference, so I decided to do this, and I believe that's like, yeah, that's snow. I did all this with ink and paint to make the snow. Okay, so this is me in my future job environment. Uh, this was back when I wanted to be like an animator or like whatever, animator or comic artist, and this is how I made my future uh, desk where I'm going to be working, um, so yeah, uh, uh, I don't know what the hell is that right there, I think that's a speaker, um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, I was a little lacking in perspective here, so, yeah, I mean, and now, um, I'm not really there yet, not really, I mean, I, I, I mean, I have my desk and also I still draw, um, so yeah, this is, all done in pencil and ink drawing, so... Wait, what is this? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, it's damaged. The hell, how, how did this happen? What in the world? My god. Yeah, some of these are a little bit damaged, because they're old. Uh, this is all the uh, homunculi, homunculi or homunculus from Full Metal Alchemist. Um, yeah. Uh, and this is another artwork I did. Uh, you had to draw something, like, meaningful, so... I don't know, I did something that represents fighting depression. Um, I actually, this is not the first time I've done this. I The first one I've done this, um... Here it is. Uh, this was actually the first one I did where I had to draw something meaningful. Um, uh, this one, I I didn't do it for art class, but I've done it for like a uh, art competition that they do every year. I think this one won second place in the, I believe it was like the national, I believe. So, I forgot. I don't know if it was like national or by county that I've it won but I know I've won second place the uh, judges really love this just because of how impactful it is I did this with various types of mediums like um, I know I used I actually used melted crayons I melted crayons to do the uh, colors here and I used watercolor paints and markers for this so yeah it was a pretty uh, this one I, I, I'm just most proud of very proud of. Ah, so this one here is, I remember I did this in Art 2 class, um, so my teacher wanted us to create a 
very beautiful and colorful landscape. I think it was the assignment was to create like something colorful. So this one I actually got it off of an image on I actually got it off of Google Images and just decided to replicate a bit. I tried rep replicating it. This one I used just color pencils. I used the Prisma color pencils and um, this one I really love it. I really do. Um, yeah, all that is just color pencils and it took me like a lot of color pencils, a lot of my Prisma color pencils to do. So yeah. Um, and then I do remember I used Vaseline to like blend it to make it, to give it like this sort of blend. Um, so yeah, I, this one, it's one of my favorites. I don't remember what this one, what assignment this was for. Um, I just drew a girl and a bicycle and just drew some sort of effects here. Ah, and here is some still life artwork. Uh, what I did is um, just drew a bunch of paint bottles spilled, like spilled paint bottles. Oh, it's wrong way. I took a bunch of like painted still bottles and just uh, and you know just copied it out. Um, so yeah. Ah, so this here, I think this was like one of my last few assignments before my year ended. Um, I was told to draw like a human slash animal, not really like a furry or anthropomorphic, more like just a human with a human body with a animal head thing. So I drew a fox. Um, I did remember use a reference for this pose, but this was made out of watercolor and uh, yeah, and then I did like a lot of splashing effects, which I guess I did good on this. So I just decided to do a fox here because I don't know, I couldn't think of any other animal, so I just drew a fox. Uh, this is just an alleyway for more perspective, just more perspective practice here I put into this. I did some sort of collage because we were learning about using geometric shapes. Ah, so here I tried to draw uh, Winnie the Pooh characters, but uh, as humans. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a thing on the internet when they try to draw animal characters as, as humans. I've seen it. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, my style was anime back then, so that's why they look anime-ish. Here's Roo the Kangaroo, Tigger. The tiger, there's a... What's his name? Uh, I can't believe... A pinky? I don't know. I really forgot. I really forgot, damn it. This is actually supposed to be Christopher Robin. And for some reason, I just decided not to make Pooh a human. Instead, just a teddy bear. There's a rabbit. And there's a Eeyore. Oh, now, now I remember his name. It's Piglet. I, I believe it's Piglet. Another collage I did with geometric shapes. Uh, this is a silhouette drawing of my family I did. Yeah, this one's kind of like my least favorite. This one is also stained. I don't know what the hell happened. I think it must have like stained with another one of my artworks. Uh, another drawing where I do, where I use circles, because I think we got on the topic of learning how to use circles, so I did like a cherry blossom, and instead of drawing flowers, I used the circles to represent the flowers, which, I don't know, it, it almost looks like bubblegum to me. Okay, this was actually one of the first assignments when I started uh, Art 2. We were supposed to transform an object and then slowly make it look like some sort of animal. I turned a fan ceiling and slowly make it look like a an octopus. Uh, this is what I did in free art class. Um, uh, yeah, uh, this the, uh, this was a time when I was just a huge, huge fan of Kingdom Hearts. Always a friend by my side, and it's the part where Sora, I don't know, visits the 
100 acre wood and I know it once when you complete this world you you get this artwork in the uh, book so yeah I, I I don't know I just decided I remember I just thought that was like the cutest thing ever so I just decided to draw it here's another artwork I did in free art class this is pride from full metal alchemist except I decided to use like words and all these words kind of represent pride um, so yeah. Oh shit, what the hell happened? No. Okay, so this is a drawing of a Rubik's Cube melting, except I kind of make it made it into like a stained glass style. Um, this thing's still wet. Yeah, and um, oh god. It looks so, it looks so good and now it's ruined. Okay, to explain, I, this portfolio, I left it, like, right there, and, um, one time when it was raining, when we had, like, a rainstorm, uh, this area flooded, and I left it, like, right here on, like, standing beside the wall on the floor, and I believe it got wet, and that's what happened, which, that's why some of my artworks got, were, like, stained, um, so yeah, this is not the my first time drawing like a Rubik's Cube melting. I know I had one, I don't think it's here. Uh, most of my artworks from high school and sketchbooks I did, I lost it, so that, 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 that makes me sad. Okay, this, we were supposed to draw opposites, I don't know, that's the thing I call it. Like my teacher said, I don't know, just draw, um dark emo edgy people with happy colorful people yeah yeah this drawing I I don't know it's one that it's not really my favorites ooh what's this ah so this was done in my last last few days of art class uh, I drew a uh, a colorful landscape. This was all done in soft pastel. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to ruin it. Uh, yeah, I love the detail that I did with the red grass and all. Yeah, so the only thing I didn't like how I just made this person all like silhouette black. I should have at least colored him, but um, couldn't. So yeah, this this one this one is also one of my favorites. You guys know I love colorful things, so. Yeah, that's why. Oh, what's this? Okay, so here's a sort of drawing I did. Uh, so here, this was done in my first days of Art 2 class. Um, I don't know what our teacher was wanting. This was like a free art day, except he wanted us to use like, I don't know, textbook paper. I don't know why. But, I just decided to draw, uh, I know this is a scene in Naruto, I forgot what was the name, like, I just found this off of Google Images, and I'm like, ooh, this looks cool, I should draw it, so I drew, like, a ninja be, like, with the moon behind him, because it, it just looks pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Okay, and I believe that is all the artwork I have, I know I have more than this, but again, like, I lost like majority of them because I don't know either I do remember my artwork from art one I left it in my locker and pretty much forgot that I have a locker because at my high school no one even uses lockers anymore um so yeah um I, it, it just makes me sad how I just lost so many of my artworks um or either my mom must have accidentally threw them away because I know I keep them in my room and oh my god it, it just infuriates me but um but yeah so this is all of my artwork um and compared to the my artworks that I do now for my sketchbook like I think I have improved so much over the uh last I don't know four years um four or five years but, um, but yeah, like, wow. I mean, right now, I, I really want to, like, 
go back to art class and start, you know, doing this again because, I don't know, this is what really motivated me to push me to, um, it really pushed me. It really got me motivated to do these things, especially when it came to, like, learning mediums and stuff like that. I will tell you that my art teacher, um, he never really taught in a way. Um, and I, I will say, and I don't want to be too harsh on criticizing him, but, like, he never really taught art. Like, every day in class, he just gives us, like, a topic and we're supposed to draw something based off the topic. Like, uh, we got into the topic of animals, so he's, like, drawn a human with an animal head. But, um, the only thing I liked about the, but the thing that I liked about him is that, um, he gave us the freedom to just draw anything, anything that's in our minds or in our hearts, like, and then he didn't care what style, like, what style or what we draw, whether it was, like, fan art or anime style, because I, I know that was my influence, and in, that, that's how I was first influenced to draw, but, um, but yeah, he was a very beloved teacher, um, I, and honestly, I, w I was his, like, number one student, so, yeah. So yeah, I guess my advice to y'all is just keep doing what, what you're doing, and, and I have heard this from an artist, it's a quote from an artist, I, I don't remember, but like, every drawing you do, every drawing you do, whether it's like, a project, or just a doodle in your sketchbook, or whatever, it's a baby step towards your towards where you want to go so yeah so yeah that's it for my that's it for today um i hope you really enjoyed this because um this is something i really wanted to share so thanks for watching